I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Insanity Difficulty, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. These are getting pretty long, but we're doing it in a what I think is a cool way. We're not cutting up episodes into multiple things, and we're trying to get it all in one episode. So they're longer, but I think they're cool. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Uh, and a huge shout out to those of you leaving comments and likes and all that. And also a shout out to our newest patron, Dimitrinov, over on patreon.com slash online. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's because of you that I'm able to do this full time, so thank you. In today's episode of Mass Effect 2, we are going to get Zaid's loyalty, which I think is going to be a really, really good time. So that's what we're going to do. That's first and foremost, get his loyalty mission. It's a DLC character, so we're kind of allowed to do that right out of the gate. In the last episode, of course, we did finish uh, Kasumi's loyalty mission, which was a ton of fun. Pretty difficult, actually, uh, but we were able to do it. There's really only two big fights in that entire thing, so... We did it though, and that's that's what matters. We also got a bunch of upgrades on our ship, and ED letting us know that we have no fuel. So we'll go ahead and we're, we'll buy some fuel with all of our credits and some probes as well, because we are heading to a different system entirely. We are he heading to the Ismar frontier. Perfect. There's actually two things we're going to be doing while we're in this system. We're going to be doing the Firewalker DLC, and we're going to be doing. Uh, the Zaid quest. So, uh, but first, we need to scan this whole little cluster here. Okay, that took forever, uh, but we scanned this entire system. We depleted it. No elements, zero planets, by the way, so not a huge deal. And we're heading to the system of Faya. Alistia. Well, uh, Alista, I think that's what it's called. That will be the next episode for sure. All right, time to scan this one too. Let's do it. All right, we've scanned that entire system, and it took a little while, but I do want to go and show uh, this before we go in. Before Zaid was hired by Cerberus, he had taken a mission to go to Zoria and liberate an Eldfell Ashland refinery from the Blue Suns. Once his work there is done, he can dedicate his full attention to the mission. So we need to travel to Zoria, which is pretty much what we've already done. And uh, we are required to bring Zaid on this mission. Uh, of course, it's his loyalty mission. And the way that loyalty missions work in this game is you have to bring them with you no matter what. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria, so much so that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. So that's where we're going. We're going to help Zaid. We're going to get his loyalty, and he's going to kick the butts. So we already have him. We cannot not have him. He's on our team. I do want to point out that we do, this is the first time that we've been able to see Morden in our select screen here. He has Incinerate, Cryoblast, and Neural Shock, uh, which is going to be a super cool. And then we have Kasumi, who also has a new uh, ability, a new uh, costume, I should say, new outfit, whatever you want, a new look, uh, because we did her loyalty mission. But we are going to choose... Garrus. And the reason why we're choosing choosing Garrus for this mission actually has nothing to do with the uh the story that the game gives us at all. It's more just we are in control of Garrus and if he is a paragon or a renegade and it's up to uh, we the uh, the choices that we make and the choices that we talk to him about uh shape Garrus. And in our playthrough of Mass Effect 1 and in Mass Effect 2, we have kind of pushed Garrus into a paragon setting. He's not really doing things out of vengeance. He's doing something to to take a to make a better place, and he's not being driven. We saw that with Doctor Hart, Doctor Salion, and Zaid is what Garrus would be if we allowed Garrus to go down the Renegade path. And I think you'll see why. So we're gonna choose Garrus for this, even though Kasumi has loyalty and Kasumi's super strong, um, and she is actually who I would normally pick. We're gonna go with Garrus. We're gonna put three points into Zaid's concussive shot, and. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna put two. We're gonna put another point into overload. Actually, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna undo that because I do want. I want. I want to wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit for Garrus. All right. Let's see this scene, baby. Pretty cool place. I actually really think this place is awesome. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. You Stay got tight it. And look out for ambushes. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure that they have the weapons that they need to have. Some sniper rifle. We'll actually keep him with uh, with what he has. Um, I actually forgot to give him the better weapon, but that's fine. And Garrus is gonna hang out with his mantis sniper rifle because he's just it's just cool. It's cool to bring Garrus. To this. I should have landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. You got it. Now, because this is a uh, a loyalty mission, a lot of these loyalty missions, your third character, you have to take whoever's loyalty it is. But the third character is kind of a silent gun. And that's what Garrus is going to be. I just want him to watch and see what happens. You know? Anyways, let's investigate Shot these bodies. The back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Yeah, all right. So Vito is a bad dude. Makes sense. So, sounds like... Zaid told us he took this job because he needed to liberate this refinery, but it doesn't seem like that's actually the case. It seems like the reason why he came here is something to do with Vito. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Look at the monkeys. The monkeys from Elatania? That's what they look like to me. Interesting. I wonder why they're here on Zoria, which is the planet we're currently on. So as soon as we come across this area, we're going to have a bunch of... Uh, these blue suns coming for us. We're just gonna go ahead and charge in. I think he's dead. He looks pretty dead to me. Go ahead and get that back. And then we're gonna hopefully kill these. There's a heavy as well here, and we just want to make sure that we don't make that heavy mad. We're getting to its range at all. Right there. Let's see if we can hit it. We were able to hit it. Let's go ahead and overload. Unfortunately, completely missing. We're gonna go ahead and charge here, and then immediately back up. You're seeing the power of the... Unfortunately, that guy died. The Geth Plasma Shotgun. So, so good. We're going to go ahead and actually... We're going to see if we can double concussive. Perfect. Heavy's down. Now, we're going to have new enemies that are going to come in. Yep. More blue suns coming. We're actually just going to charge up. Remember, if you're able to pop a pyro with an overload... They'll explode and hit everybody around them. So we're actually going to charge kill that guy real quick. And then we actually have a Fenris mech as well that we're going to just quickly just kill. Watch out for this heavy. Break its shields. Go ahead and actually concussive shot here just to kind of get her a little bit off her off guard. Easy peasy. We did that no problemo. Let's go ahead and uh, there's actually a med kit over here that we can grab as well. We want to make sure we grab those. Hey, it's 100 credits. 100 credits is 100 credits. What do you want? What do you want from me? Anyways, we destroyed. I mean, we 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 dismantled them in the third attempt. Uh, but we we dismantled those guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the locust here as well and make sure that that has perfect... And we have a bridge up here that we're going to want to activate. And we're going to get some really good story. It's good. Trust me. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. 
goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Dude, Zaid, you are so cool, man. We better get moving. You know, funny story. Uh, a friend of my mom's actually. All squads mess at the gatehouse now. Oh, they know yeah. we're here. Let's let's fight. Bring yeah, uh, a friend of my mom's actually in real life uh, did actually get shot in the head and survived it, which blows my mind. I did not mean that. Did not mean that. Did not. Mm -mm, that's not what I meant. That was not. Nope. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Anyways, I recommend saving before we actually approach this here. And then we'll continue on and open this, this gatehouse here. We're going to have a little bit of Zaid being awesome right now. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. Oh! What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Just signed your death warrant, Masani. I love how that guy looks like he's like was a child when the Blue Suns were formed with Zaid. What the hell are you doing? Uh oh. Opening the gate. Oh, that's not good. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours, looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. Oh. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. She's so cool. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Uh, whoa, whoa, Zaid. Absolutely not. We're going to grab this uh, palladium here, and we're going to have two blue suns actually coming for us. We're going to go ahead and overload here, and unfortunately, for whatever reason, we cannot charge. I don't know why, but we can't. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but it just wouldn't let me charge them, even though they were standing right there. Very strange. So, uh, this refinery that we were supposed to liberate and save, Saeed decided that Vito was worth killing instead. So the whole damn place is falling apart with all of the workers inside. Uh, Cause he doesn't care. He just wants, doesn't matter. He just wants to kill, he just wants to kill Vito. I don't blame him. The guy shot him in the face. Uh, uh, and worse, turned his entire organization that he worked so hard to build against him. I don't blame him. But anyways, we're gonna continue on and hopefully, We can't get to the gas valve to shut them off. The whole place is gonna blow. That looks that way. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Yeah, you know what? We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Well, hey, at least he's listening to us. Now, we do have a huge option there. We could either go after Vito, or go after and save 
the workers. And, you know, our shepherd uh, would have a really hard time deciding to just let this place burn just to get Vito, who feels like, you know, a personal grudge. Obviously, the guy's not a good dude. Seems like a pretty bad guy. But, you know, it's it seems personal between uh, Zaid and them. We'll go ahead and bypass this door. Get inside. So, the big thing about choosing this, saving the facility or saving uh, or going after Vito, that's a Paragon and a Renegade Path. And there are two different upgrades that you can get. If you go the Renegade Path, you can get an, ass an Assault Rifle Damage Upgrade. If you go the Paragon Path, you actually get ha heavy ammo uh, increase. You can carry more heavy ammo, which I think is better. We don't really use Assault Rifles uh, on Shepard anyways. So for me, it makes way more sense to go with that. But if you're somebody who, if you're a soldier or somebody that's using Assault Rifles all the time, uh, then I would definitely, I would definitely recommend the Assault Rifle route. Um, you know, it's not, it's not detrimental and it's not going to be detrimental in Mass Effect 3 either. I also will say that there was a sequence in Mass Effect 3 that's actually cut, but when we get to Mass Effect 3, I'll explain it. And the ultimate fate of Vito uh, is explained in that cut content. So I will, uh, I'll gladly let you know about it. Anyways, let's continue. We have a refinery to save that apparently is exploding in my face. No big deal. So let's head through here and grab this fuel and we'll redirect that. Hopefully that slows off a little bit of the exploding explodiness. Right over here, we have another fuel control that we can activate. Oh, that body. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, that person's really tall. What is going on? Why are you so large? Am I just really short? Anyways, we'll use that fuel control. And over here is a generator pipe that we can salvage for 6,000 credits. That was crazy. This place is like really, really on fire. Good thing we have like spacesuits. Whoa! The extinguishing system is upstairs. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta help these people. Oh, there's that's gotta be awful. Redirect that fuel. That's awful. Still going. We're still moving. We're going. We're going. We're gonna save these people. Imagine that though, being stuck in a room and fly. Oh, jeez, can't even. No There's a refined palladium over here, but we just can't get through. We gotta walk up here and go around. Then we can come back and grab this over here. We actually get a lot of resources just from doing this. Who needs scanning? You know, we do. We need scanning. Go ahead and open this door. We can use this research terminal. It. Heavy weapon ammo. That's what I was talking about. Now we have more of that, which is actually awesome. Uh, heavy, heavy weapon ammo is so good. Let's go ahead and use the fire extinguisher services. That's going to put out all of the fires. And now we need to stop Vito Santiago before he gets away. We can do that. You're welcome. Watch them get out. We saved him, man. We did good. We did good work. All right. Then we'll come down here. We got more refined. Whoop, I'm stuck. More refined palladium that we can grab. Looks like we have to go that way. Check back here. Make sure there's nothing that we're missing. I think we're good. All right. We're heading back this way. We got this team. This is all us. Saeed and Garrus. And right here, we can pick up the M51 Firestorm. A handy. new heavy weapon. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. So we're going to go look this way real quick, see if there's anything around. Uh, we do actually have a few different look things out. here. We're going to go ahead and just torch this guy. Then we're going to charge him. And um, we do not have, and you know, I didn't actually realize that. We're going to go ahead and pop this and then custom shot. Perfect. I actually didn't realize those two mercenaries were there, so my bad. 
weird room here. I don't really know what that's for. It looks like a big vault looking through there. Now, we actually can do something kind of funky here that I want to show you. So we can grab these power cells for new heavy, uh, heavy weapon amp stuff. Uh, and then we can actually just refill our heavy weapon by switching to something else, which is what we want to do. We're going to switch back to the, uh, the missile launcher here. The Garrus is going to keep... Uh, we're going to switch him to the Matic, even though he's going to be using the sniper rifle, and switch him to the Matic as well. Um, just to make sure that they actually have that. We'll make sure he has the sniper rifle, he has the Matic, perfect. Understood. And then we'll give him disruptor ammo. Can't get a lock. And incendiary. So this next part is, uh, I, I need to take a minute because we can cheese the heck out of this fight and just not do it. Or uh, we can cheese it and do the entire fight and still kick butt, uh, which is probably what we should do to be totally honest with you. Um, which is, <laughs> I, it's, it's kind of, it's okay. So what we'll do is we'll put, we'll put our I'm team, going. we'll put our team there position. and we'll open this door and we'll just very slowly creep forward or so we'll hear them. We'll hear the enemies say that they're coming and then we just leave. If you proceed any further into this, this door will shut, which means that you won't have access to this weapons locker. But if you do it this way, you'll have we uh, access to the weapons locker, which means that you get to use infinite ammo here. As much heavy ammo as you want. And you can just fire missile launcher and it'll just seek them out. And it doesn't matter. As long as you don't go that far, you're totally fine. So as you can see, that will like go and it'll find the enemies. Looks like there's another one there. You can, I mean, you can see the power of and how cheesy this is. So we'll go ahead and we'll actually, we'll switch to grenade launcher. Why not? Has full ammo. And then we'll actually just pop it over here. Cool. And then we can just switch back and we don't have to worry about it. We can switch back to the missile launcher. And then we just do this. And we just kill everybody. Doesn't even matter if they're not in cover. Or if they're in cover. And then once these tanks start moving, we can actually just... And then we can explode that and that will do a bunch of damage to them as well. But because the missile launcher is something that will just find its weapon, its enemy, we can fire over cover and not have to worry about it. And as you can tell, I mean, this is just a super cheesy way of doing this entire room, which is actually an incredibly difficult room to do. So, hey, it is what it is. And even easier is once the mech is actually used and the, the Ymir mech is actually after us, which happens either when the last merc dies or if you end up hitting it. We can actually just sit here and I'm completely on load and it makes this entire area just nothing. And I'm just, you know, I'm a big fan. I'm actually a really big fan of finding ways of cheesing things in video games, um, which <laughs> I just fell through the planet. That sucked. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my own karma is that <laughs> Once you have killed either all of the mercs or you've hit the Ymir mech, if you've like just fired and a uh, random shot hit it, then it will actually start, it'll extend the bridge and it'll start walking towards you. There is a way that you can actually, and I'll, and I'll show you the footage for it, but there is a way that you can actually cheese it so that you can charge the mech and then run through and that's it. But if you do that, you're going to be missing out on a bunch of credits and other missable items uh, that are here in this refinery. And I don't, I don't really think it's worth it just to skip that. Um, if you're struggle busting real hard and you're a vanguard, then then sure you can do it. But uh, I doubt I doubt you'll need to. So Zaid's down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop Unity here.
And unfortunately, we'll go ahead and pop another unity here. I ended up coming forward just so that I could deal with this in a, in a little bit cleaner of a way. Ymir mech already losing most of its armor, so I was able to get a full a full bunch of shots on it. We actually just need to watch out. Careful. Watch those rockets. And we can finish it off. No problem. There we go. I feel like we, uh, we cheese that enough, don't you think? Anyways. I don't know. Vito, uh, apparently not. I don't know what he's talking about, to be honest with you. Here, what comes? We already killed the mech, if that's what you're talking about. Anyways, so if we skip that, we wouldn't get access to these rooms, which would be no bueno. Uh, because we can get 6,000 credits from that right there that we just salvaged. There's nothing down here, even though there looks like there should be. Uh, there's actually nothing down here. But if we go into the other room across the way, this is where the blue suns were actually spawning from. So if you did come into this room, uh, well, I don't know why you did, but if you did, uh, you, I mean, there's some spots you can hide, but honestly, they're going to, they're going to flank you really, really easily. So we can grab another here, which is 6,000 credits, 12,000 credits. I don't think it's worth skipping that. I really don't. And of course the med kit that was sitting there, which who cares, uh, but we can go ahead and we can come down here. And there's even more rooms that we can go into. So this is where I was talking about. The Ymir mech is actually inactive right over here. And you can actually charge to it. You have to hit it first, and then it'll activate, and then you can charge to it. And then you just run out that door there, and it and it's done. That You skip the entire fight with the mech. So if you are struggling with the mech, that's, that's how you skip it. It doesn't look like there's anything over in this room, oddly enough. And there's nothing in that one either. So we're going to head over and that my friends is going to be the end of Zaid's loyalty mission believe it or not so let's go ahead let me give you the full action just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. But come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. And we get a mission summary complete. There is a lot of different ways. Well, not I guess not that many, but there is a lot of different ways that we could have dealt with uh, with that. 
there if we didn't have that charm option available to us it would have been really really bad uh because he wouldn't have he he would have survived but he wouldn't have been loyal renegade path uh he would have been you know he would have been loyal right away and we wouldn't have had any checks or anything that we needed uh but then if we we could also do his loyalty mission actually after the end of the game and have an option to just leave him there under the under the beam which uh, i'm not gonna do that no way anyways we leveled up we're level 11 Eldfell Ashland Refinery on Zoria has been liberated, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vito Santiago, Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. He's loyal. Which means that we got his power unlocked. He now has Inferno Grenade, launches a Voltire Grenade that explodes on impact, sending searing waves of flame in all directions. Fire damage is effective against armor. And we got a new outfit for Zaid, which is dope. We got the Firestorm, which is something that we're probably not going to be using, but hey, we got it. Uh, the Heavy Weapon Ammo uh, Capacity, which I think is better, personally, than the Assault Rifle, at least for our playthrough. Uh, but you should do what you should do. And we'll get 60,000 credits for doing that. 2,000 Palladium. You'll love to see it. Now, it is worth mentioning that you actually get less credits if you do end up going the renegade route you get less credits uh you get less palladium there's uh, there's a bunch of things that you get less of uh the game it feels like to me that the game actively punishes you for going renegade which probably isn't that great to be honest with you uh but we can go ahead and we can upgrade some stuff here including advanced training through intensive training shepherd can learn to use a single bonus power obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for shepherd complete this research project multiple times and each time that the project is completed shepherd selects a new bonus power and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power which is something that's going to be very useful later on when we actually get something that we care about we're going to go ahead and we're going to research our heavy weapon ammo perfect and that will allow us to finally unlock the avalanche which is the uh the new uh the new heavy weapon that we can grab which uses cryo round technology to basically stun everything and put them into into frozen ice and uh later on once we get another heavy weapon ammo upgrade we'll be able to get the m920 cane which is incredibly strong uh and it is it is pretty crazy it basically launches a nuke which is wild uh but we're not going to worry about that right now anyways we can head out and i think it is worth going and potentially talking to let's see if kelly has anything to say to us how may i help you commander How's is there anything i should no, know anything else we're good take care no messages for you commander all right so we are going to head down and see if we can talk to zaid down in the cargo bay see if he has anything to say about his loyalty mission hopefully he's not too mad at us it's, if he's loyal, then he's not too mad. I think he knows why we did what we had to do, but... Back for another lesson. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Can't believe Vito got away. 20 years of tracking, gone. Just like that. Sorry. But I gotta let that go. We have more important things to do. You're darn tootin' we do. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they sent you. Oof. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. You've been in Batarian I prison? Let you go. prison? Talk more later, Shepard. All right. And that, my friends, is the end of today's episode. We have Zaid's loyalty, which means we now have two squad mate loyalties. Uh, we have, of course, Kasumi and Zaid. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that. We could have checked, of course, checked the... Just to see what we have. Zaid's mission of revenge against Vito Santiago is resolved. I mean, for... for for us not necessarily for him uh and and you know but it's fine it has the same repercussions and uh has a cool moment actually later on so we do have four squad points that we can put in but we will do that in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every single day roughly around 2 p.m eastern sincerely appreciate you and i also appreciate those of you leaving comments and likes it really does help these out thank you so much and remember never give up never surrender to Vito santiago bye everybody